Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Red Boss for the week. As you can see, we have ourselves fake Yoshi, the Yoshi boss. I think this one could be very good. This, I think he's going to be extremely competitive. I think he's going to be extremely competitive. Show the stats here real quick. But uh, why the name fake Yoshi? Uh, if anybody knows the Mario games somewhat well, then you will, you might know the uh, the enemy in Mario games, aptly named fake Yoshi, who happens to be a pink dressed Yoshi. So there you, we went with the pink alt and named him fake Yoshi in a reference to the actual enemy. I'm trying to do that more with my raid bosses, actually have like a, a reference that makes sense instead of some random name that's like, uh, whatever. But um, yeah, so as you can see, 2100 attack, 2100 defense, split right down the middle, super evenly. Went physical attack and air attack because, like, a lot of his kit is going to be revolved around, well, just that. So, uh, and then uh, his last one, I gave him floaty jumps. And I gave him floaty jumps instead of additional mid-air jump because floaty jump is better. One, when he's floating, he's still got down special. He's going to come right down. He's just going to be like, coming down, get out of the way. So, uh, it's going to be super easy, right? Don't have to worry about the floatiness too much. It just helps him recover quite a bit more. And and, and uh, secondly, the additional mid-air jump actually takes two support slots, and I do not like that. I, I don't think I will ever use additional mid-air jump on a raid boss. Two support slots for that, not worth it in my book. But uh, yeah, anyway, I think he's going to be very competitive, and the only way to test that theory is to send him into the arena. Yo, this raid boss, honestly, it feels like it took us 65 million years to dig up. I get it? Dinosaur stuff. But anyway, this dinosaur, he is here to face all challengers. And that happens to include Ryan, who now for the third straight week, uh-oh, actually kind of has like a, uh, he has a chance to knock off the raid boss in the first match. He did it two weeks ago with Korn. He did it last week, and he was the only person to defeat King Sexy last week. And now he's the first person to face fake Yoshi. Um, I don't know if I should feel kind of, uh, should I feel scared about this one? Like, if Yoshi happens to lose, uh, like, honestly, I'm going to feel like a bad amiibo trainer here. I can't have three raid bosses in a row lose their first match. That should be impossible! Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think fake Yoshi will be losing this one. He's a strong little raid boss. Is this a Byleth? A Byleth? Excuse me? When's the last time anyone actually ran across someone playing as Byleth? This is crazy. Like, seriously, here's how this is gonna go. This is either gonna be an amazing matchup or a complete extinction. <laughs> Dinosaur humor. Get ready for the dino puns. They're coming in, in, in waves. In, in hordes? What are dinosaurs? I guess they're hordes, right? I don't know. Anyway, the more this match goes on, the more I think Violet is actually kind of a good pick here. Like, uh, the, I keep watching. The up air from Violet is perfect. He's got, he's got the juggle going, and that's, like, perfect for stopping Yoshi with those feet attack, which are absolutely deadly. And that down special, it's stopping Yoshi from doing what he does best. You know, I, you can kind of say that uh, this professor's been studying big time for his opponent. You know, I gotta hand it to him. He's getting an A-plus on this test. Right now, fake Yoshi is absolutely in serious trouble. Can he remain unbeaten? No! The 
dinosaurs are officially extinct. GG's Gilstorm. No hesitation. Colonel, it appears to be a pink dinosaur that loves feet for some reason. Yes, Snake. That's a fake Yoshi. Please approach with caution. Wow, seriously, what the... <laughs> Yoshi's feet, what are in his shoes? Does he have, like, cement in those things? Because that, like... That's some serious raw power. Ah! <laughs> Another dinosaur pun. Seriously though, this has to be like that, that's got to be one of his best attacks. That that that, that multi foot hit attack and and can can we think about this for a second? He hits you when you're below him, but it somehow launches you upwards. It, like the, it just doesn't look right. It just looks strange. But like I'm glad it launches him straight upwards. Like those feet are so powerful. Like seriously, that has to be one of his best attacks for an amiibo. I mean, if not, if that's not one of his best, then it is his absolute best. How's it going, Derpy? Man, I always love it when new players are joining the arena. I get to introduce them to the RAR power that is Raid Boss Amiibos. So, look, here's one tip for you. Here's one tip. Please avoid Yoshi's feet. Oh, and the tail. I forgot. Avoid the tail. Oh, too late. What on earth is this thing? Is this a cursed Sans? Oh, oh my goodness. You know what? No, I'm sorry. Off to the slaughterhouse with you, sand pig man thing. I, I don't even know what, what, what is this? This is just, ah, that's not right. That's not right. Yeah, off to the slaughterhouse with you. But when we send them there and the final result becomes, well, we know what's going to happen. Do you think he's still going to taste like bacon or is it going to be like bone-in bacon? That, I don't, I don't know. If, I don't know. Bacon. You can't go wrong with bacon. Ah, oh, great. I really didn't miss Ganondorf. Of course, of course, of course, Zack picks Ganondorf. <laughs> Why wouldn't he? <laughs> you know what? All I'm going to say is I hope Yoshi doesn't miss him either. With those cinder block feet! Oof! <laughs> oh, I bet he's going to be feeling dinosaur after that one. Finally, I wanted to see this match today. I wanted to see this one. After all these years, Yoshi will finally get some revenge against Mario. Like, think about it. All those Mario games, Mario's always doing a YOLO jump off of Yoshi to save his own life. Mario always does that with the cruelest intentions. Dropping Yoshi off in some bottomless pit or dropping him off in lava just watching him melt to death like what mario that is that is rude you know mario is extremely rude right and then he always moves on to the next level like ha, no problem i'm just gonna get another yoshi seriously mario ain't the hero mario ain't no hero yoshi is the true hero so today we will correct the history books of the Mushroom Kingdom, Yoshi takes his place as the... Does, does he? Does Mario rule the Mushroom King? I don't know. Yoshi's the hero in this story, that's what I'm getting at. Yo, look at that! Sora confirmed for Smash Bros! Sora confirmed for Smash Bros! <laughs> Seriously though, I am excited for this fight. I'm excited for this one. It's another banjo player! Hooray! Look, anytime somebody is playing as a banjo, my hopes 
are as high as a brontosaurus's neck is as long because brontosaurus has those giant necks and my height my hopes are very high anyway bad pun aside banjo seriously though deserves more love he, he deserves more love and i for one am very very happy that he finally got into smash ultimate just kind of deserves it Hey, Festive's back! Let's go! He's back in all his festive glory. He's got his character back. He's got Hero. I'm glad. Because he the past couple times he's been here, he's uh I think he had to play on somebody else's switch and he didn't have access to the DLC characters. So he had to play as Cloud, but he's back as Hero. So seriously, I'm honestly happy about that. That I, I do believe this is going to be a very close fight. Uh, I, I guess fake Yoshi had other plans, I suppose. Dude, fake Yoshi's performance today is absolutely dynamite. He's absolutely T wrecking everything. <laughs> They're so bad. I just hope somebody laughed at one of these dinosaur puns. Theory confirmed. Theory confirmed. Am I right? Yo, very, very competitive. That's what I wanted. He turned out extremely well. Uh, I'm only saying that because I, do, I, <laughs> I hardly play as Yoshi myself. So when he turns out like that, the amount of KOs, the, the way that he turned out. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm happy with that. So uh, I do want to give a quick shout out to everybody that showed up in the Raid Boss Arena this week. Because it, uh, if I remember, it was, at count, it was either 13 or 14 different people showed up this week for the Raid Boss Arena. That is the most amount of people I've ever had in one single Raid Boss Arena. Thank you guys so much for showing up. That's uh, that's that's mind blowing to me. I uh, that like that puts a big smile on my face. I'll be honest, but uh, thank you, thank you so much, and a big thank you to anybody who actually watches these Raid Boss videos as well. They're pretty cool. But uh, that is it for this week. So here's your sneak peek for the next Raid Boss. Um, let's see what could your uh, ooh the hint for this week is uh, the Slayer becomes the raid boss. <laughs>